Yo, what up everybody? This is What What, and I'm back today with a brand new video for Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. This is going to be a solo unlimited money glitch after the recent hotfix from earlier today. That's right, folks. The uh, glitch that I posted recently, the solo unlimited money glitch. A uh, couple different methods. They've all been patched, but there is already a workaround, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So basically, you're going to need a garage, any garage, pretty much, with an empty space, at least one empty space or more, and the vehicle you want to duplicate inside the garage. I'll go in the blue circle here and go ahead and show you that I do, in fact, have an empty space in the garage, and we, along with four faction custom donks, four Sultan RSs, and the new Yuga van, which was just released last night. I guess early this morning is probably more accurate. So we're going to go ahead and get into the faction donk, and we're going to duplicate this car. So, just like before, we're going to go ahead and drive this vehicle on over to our clubhouse. We will be requiring the clubhouse with the mod shop inside once again to do this duplication process. And we're going to need to destroy the vehicle once again that we want to duplicate, just like the last glitch. Now, there is a little tricky part, and I will uh, kind of elaborate more on that once we get into the mod shop. But first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and destroy the vehicle that we want to duplicate. So go ahead and destroy the vehicle by any means necessary, and run on into your mod shop. Now, once we load into the mod shop, Pretty much going to be the same thing. Uh, you could either use the uh, Bifta or the uh, Dune Buggy. Both those vehicles do not have a driver's door, and so you do not have to knock the door off the vehicle. Uh, but if you do not have those vehicles inside of your clubhouse, as long as you have two cars, you could basically open the driver's door in one and uh, swap spots with the other car so it's next to the driver's side of the vehicle with the door open, and you can knock the door off of it. Or you could have a setup like so, to where you have a vehicle parked on each side, and you can teleport inside the car. So, just like before, we're going to do the step where you hit right on the D-pad and hit triangle to get off the scooter. I always hit right on the D-pad and pull the vehicle, rather the Fagio, into the mod shop just to make sure we're all set up. And we are. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit right on the D-pad and hit triangle and get off of the Fagio. Once you do this, you're going to pull up your phone, you're going to go to the internet, go to Southern San Andreas Superautos.com, and go sort by price and select the Fagio scooter. Here's the tricky part. So you're going to select the color, any color that you like for the Fagio, but do not click on buy. I repeat, do not click buy yet. So this is the tricky part. You actually have to be ultra fast. You're going to basically select buy and hit triangle at the same time. So you're going to hit X and triangle almost at the exact same time. That's what makes this tricky. And I will show you how many times I fail here. Um, but it is kind of difficult. What you're going to want to see is you're going to want to see your character basically sitting on the Fagio with your garage list up. Now, the way they hotfix this is that uh, if you're si seated on the uh, Fagio or if you have your internet up on the phone, you actually cannot get onto the Fagio scooter. So as you see, I failed the first time. So we're going to try it again and go ahead and click buy and triangle at the same time. And I failed again. And don't get frustrated. It is pretty difficult. The timing is pretty tough. Uh, the first time I tried this, it took me probably 15 times to actually get it to work. As you can see, I have my garage list up. But when I hit triangle, I cannot sit on the Fagio. So it did not work. So I got to back out and uh, try it a few more times here. So let's go ahead and pull up the internet. Go to Southern San Andreas and go to the Fagio, pick a color, and go ahead and click on buy, hit triangle, and still a little bit too slow. So the timing is pretty rough, but it's, this definitely does work. And you will see later in the video here in about a minute that it does in fact work. Okay, so see, I was able to sit on the Fagio because I hit triangle before X. Now let's go and try it one more time. If you do hit triangle early, you will in fact close the internet and so you do have to make sure you hit X first unfortunately a little bit slow all right we'll get it on this try right here so go to Southern San Andreas sort by price click on the Fagio pick your color and we're gonna tap X and triangle the exact same time here we go 
boom, there we go. We're seated on the Fagio. And I have my garage list up. Now we're all set. So this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and highlight our clubhouse. Highlight the Fagio. From this point, you just press start twice, then X twice. So start, start, XX. And now we are inside of the mod shop after the recent hotfix. And what do you know? The Fagio disappeared. So pull up your phone. Go ahead and call Morse Mutual and claim that vehicle that you destroyed. MMI, and we once we do that, you go ahead and hop into the buggy that. or the bifta or the vehicle that is missing a driver's door. And it will automatically suck you into the mod shop. Now, once inside the mod shop, just like the last video, we're going to change any one item. The buggy does not have a license plate, so we do have to respray it. So I respray it and back out of the mod shop. All right. Now we're just going to run outside and we're going to grab a street vehicle and take it on over to Moore's Mutual to pick up the duplicate car. Now things are a little different here from this point. So basically when we head over to pick up the uh, faction donk which should be waiting for me over at Moore's Mutual. We're going to drive that vehicle into either Los Santos Customs or Benny's. Because Benny's is so close I use Benny's uh, mainly because I'm using the faction donk so if you're using the donk, the Sultan RS or any lowrider you could pull it into Benny's. I showed you there on the garage list. I still have the four faction donks, the Yuga van and four Sultan RS's which makes nine vehicles, and there's one empty space in that garage. Oh god, that person did not want to stop. See him run the red light? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyway, we're going to go and grab ourselves um, not a city bus. We're just going to grab any car. We'll grab this car right here. I practically walked all the way to Moore's Mutual, or ran, but hey, I'm kind of tired, so I'm going to drive the rest of the way. So here we go. Take this car on over to our faction donk, which is waiting for us on the street. Once I pick it up, I'm going to take it into Benny's, and we're just going to change the plate. So, hop into the donk, and just drive right around the corner here, and take it back into Benny's, and change the license plate. Once you do that process where you change the plate, that empty spot will be filled with the duplicate car. So if you have multiple empty spots, you can, in fact, go from Benny's and just go straight back to your clubhouse to destroy the vehicle. No need to store it because it actually is stored once you change the plate. And I will go ahead and show you real quick. Repair it since I crashed into the wall. Go to plate, go to license, and go ahead and select any license plate and back out of Benny's. And then I'm going to head on over to the garage just to go ahead and show you that in fact it duplicated. So here we go. I'm going to back up. Let me call my mechanic real quick and show you that since I changed the plate it will appear, the duplicate that is, will appear inside the garage on its own where you can kind of just rinse and repeat as long as you have multiple empty spaces. So now we have five faction custom donks, the Yuga van, and our four Sultan RS's which now makes ten vehicles in the garage that we started in. So let me drive in here real quick and pick apartment 10, which is where we started. And I will show you that when I get out, I am getting out of the faction donk in that empty slot. There we go. Empty space is now filled with a brand new duplicate copy of my faction donk. This is a pretty sweet glitch. Uh, kind of exciting that a workaround was found so quickly. But uh, let's head to the blue circle here just to show you that it is in fact a faction custom donk. And it is not like some other vehicle like the buggy. Uh, so it is actually the faction donk. Now you can go ahead and sell these vehicles and make millions and millions of dollars. Definitely jump on this because I'm sure it's going to be hot fixed really, really soon. But thanks again for watching the video. Thanks for stopping by. As always, drop a like. And we hope to see you all next time. I hope you guys have a nice and wonderful evening. Good night.